What was the problem and how to automate it to provide a solution? So, 2021, we recognised that we needed to upgrade our plant to increase our capacity. So, we ordered a new brew house that required a lot more automation than uh, currently had, and we went with a custom solution for to run the brewery. We wanted more sensors. Uh, and yeah, we put the job out for tender and automate X uh, for the, the best candidate for the job. How did the project go with automating? Smooth sailing from the, the concept uh, to the start and then to ordering or identifying parts we need to buy and then uh, integrating those into the system and then the install and software rollout. Was uh, pretty much pick up free. And what are you most looking forward to with the project? Uh, with our increased level of automation, it's uh, really important to be repeatable. So we're definitely getting improved reliability, the gear and repeatability of our recipes. And another large part has been manpower saving. With, uh, with the automation we've added, it's a lot more hands off. So the brewers have got more time to spend on PC, QA. How has that been in your brewery impacted the quality of your product? Quality has been a really important um, aspect of the process for us for a long time. So it's a big risk upgrading the brew house at our beers of the new system would uh, be different for lower quality. Uh, however, with the that new system, we've got far more control over the process at pretty much every point in the process. So the upgrade has been a, a big success and the quality is really been improved rather than uh, decreased. So what, what else did Automatix do to solve this problem for decrease? So we developed a solution to control the brewery, um, including a, an HMI system with feedback fault sensors, um, also a recipe based system for um, selecting recipes and creating products. So what went well on this project? Uh, we collaborated well with Deep Creek in terms of um, being able to finish the project in a timely manner, even though there were some delays, um, which was happening with shipping at the time. Um, and the commissioning of the project went really well. Uh, there were some changes in scope during that time, which just through the collaboration, we were able to get through very easily. Do you find it was, it was beneficial having remote access? It was definitely beneficial having remote access. Um, it meant that if anything, if we needed to make any changes, we didn't necessarily have to be on site at Deep Creek. Uh, being in Silverdale, it's a little bit of a trick up here. So um, being able to commission remotely for small things was, was very beneficial. Do you hear inter interesting technology on this project? Yeah, so we used um, Ethercat and IOLink uh, communication. Um, we had a lot of IOLink devices, including flow meters, pressure sensors. Um, uh, we also had proportional valves for controlling the flow rate. Um, and then we used ABB drives for controlling pumps and motors. Did you um, incorporate any Industry 4 on this project? Yes, so we used an Exxon router um, which first of all gave us access remotely um, but second of all it meant that we could set up alarms that went to the client's email um, so they could receive notifications that if there was anything going wrong in the plant um, and this is particularly useful during fermentation process where it's a 24-7 process um, so you don't want people on site at all times um, and it means that if anything's going wrong in terms of temperature control they know straight away and can send someone in to sort it out.